Hi and welcome back to the channel today. Well, today we are down in the shop and we're going to be looking at the Top Don TC004 thermal imaging camera. Now, if you remember a few weeks ago, we looked at the TC001 and the TC002, which were adaptable modules that would fit onto your Android phone or your Apple iPhone to turn those into thermal imaging cameras. Well, this TC004 is a standalone device and does not require a cell phone in order to be used. Now, I did not pay for this. Top Don sent this out to me so that I can share it with you. I'm going to be showing you everything that I can see about it. I've never opened this thing up. I have no idea what to expect when I get inside of it. I'm not going to tell you whether to buy it, whether or not to buy it. I'm not going to tell you whether I think it's good or bad. Well, I might tell you whether I think it's good or bad, but uh, I'm not going to try to push this on you. I'm here to share it with you as they shared it with me. So that's what we are going to do. Give me a second. I'll find my pocket knife. It's laying around here somewhere. We're going to get this thing opened up and see exactly what's going on inside this box. All right, let's see what we have here. You know what, before I go cutting into this with a knife, let me, let me get my eyeballs on. It's always better if I can see what I was doing. I don't want to cut a cord or something like that. All right, let's see what we have in here. It's the best place to open this. I guess it's going to be right, then right here. There we go. We take the plastic off of it. Now again, I don't know whether or not I'm going to need to charge this. Probably do. Let's see here. All right. Well, it comes with a nice bag, kind of like a holster. All right. We have a product certificate. This was inspected for quality by QC64, good old quality control number 64. There we go. All right, so we have a calibration certificate. And it's for the model TC004. Serial numbers do match. So this uh, certificate indicates that the thermal camera listed on this card has been calibrated by the factory. Yada, yada, yada. That is good. We're going to assume that it says everything is okay. We have here, we have a little manual. All right, we have, okay, so this thing's going to need to be charged. We have a charger. We have a, holy moly, a 16 gigabyte memory stick. Now it's these little tiny ones. I wish they put the bigger ones in there. The tiny ones are just too too small for my eyes. We have here, we also have a, a cord. This is USB-C. Fantastic. All right. And the coup de gras. Are you ready? Are you ready? Now, let me just tell you. Well, I'm going to show it to you before I pull it out, just to show you how well this thing is packed. Um, very, very nice. Again, I'm a huge fan of looking at a product and, and telling whether or not it's good or a quality product by the packaging that they put it in. If you buy something that's expensive and they put it in horrible packaging, you kind of know when you're opening it up that it's going to be it's going to be crap. Well, this is in a nice package. The last one was in a nice package as well. Actually, I think I have it around here somewhere. Let me show you. This was the uh, TC002. It came with a nice carrying case as well, and it is uh, just a nice, nice package. It works very, very well, by the way. That's a different video. You can go back and take a look at it. I do recommend this. This is uh, this is a nice item. All right, let's take a look at this. Here we go. Now this, this feels substantial. This, this, this feels good. All right, it looks like we uh, charge it right there and put our memory stick right there. Let's see if we can turn this thing on. Let's see if it's got any battery at all in it. It does. TC view. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a setup here. English. Yes. Date and time. Oh, look at that. Okay. So this thing is already working. Okay. So I have a fire going out behind you, right? I mean, it's behind the camera. So I'm going to, the camera is you. Right, so the, the fire is going on behind you. I mean, it's not like an inferno or something. I've got a, a small campfire. I'm burning some brush and some old corn from my garden, but I can see it from here. And that is amazing. Now I will show you as soon as I get the memory stick in here, but that's not what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a close up look at this. I'm gonna bring it over by the camera, let you have a look at it. And then what we're going to do is put the memory stick in there. We're gonna put the charger on it. We're gonna charge it up. We're not gonna charge it up. This thing came fully charged. That is very, very nice. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you, then we're gonna put the memory stick in here and then we're going to uh, read some of the features and see what this thing does. So there it is. And you can see it's uh, it's working in the background. There's 
my hand, and I'll show you some actual footage from this thing shortly. But we've got uh, several buttons back here. I'm not sure exactly what they do yet. We're going to find out. I know that, that one is a power button. That looks like a return. That looks like a play. I'm not sure what that is by the icon. Maybe you can guess. Leave it down in the comments. Some sort of a, maybe a backlight. Let's push it and see what happens. Oh, it's a front light. Look at that. Okay. Okay, how do we shut that light off? There we go. So there's our USB and our memory stick. They live right underneath here. That's where they go. Excellent. Now that we have seen it, let's turn it off for a moment. Let's, let's set it back in here. We don't want to damage it. Let's see what this thing can do. So there's multiple ways that you can use this. You can use this in standalone mode. I imagine that means by itself recording directly to the, to the memory chip they've given me here that I have not yet installed. But uh, you can also use it in the USB mode. Apart from standalone, your TC004 can also work with a Windows-based computer. Okay, so that's a Windows-based computer, not a Mac, apparently. So if you have a Windows-based computer, you can plug this directly into your Windows machine. I, I don't have a Windows machine. I gave up on those a long time ago. I operate a Mac and they may have a, a version that works with Mac. I don't know, but they are talking just about Windows right here. So we're gonna assume right now that it only works on Windows. It's, I could be wrong. Work with your TC004 to work on a Windows-based computer screen, projecting imagery and analysis. Okay, so there you go. So you can download the, the software. I am going to try it just for, for the fun of it. I'm gonna try plugging it into my Mac and see what happens because the Mac can do a lot more than most people give it credit for. There might even be some software out there that works with it. I don't know, I'm gonna to try to find it. We'll see, but that's not gonna be part of this video, but that's kind of what I'm gonna do because I'm a tinkerer, that's what I do. What else can this do? Specifications, so here's what we are looking at. The resolution of the camera is 256 by 192. The spectral range, now I don't know what the spectral range is. I'm gonna tell you what it is. If you know, you know. It is uh, eight to 14. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a, a funny looking U with an M. So there you go. I don't, I don't know what that is. I guess you have to be an engineer or something to understand that or someone who deals with light. I don't, I don't deal with light other than turn it on so that I can see. All right, so the pixel size is 12. The net D is less than 40 MK. That must be a good thing. I've got a fly down here that keeps bugging me. Hmm. All right, the FOV is 52.5 by 39.5 degrees. The IFOV, uh, that is 3.85 MRAD. And those of you who know, know, I mean, you may, you may know, I don't know, but you may know. I know that I can point at things and it's gonna tell me how hot they are. All right, so the measurement range is minus four to 662 Fahrenheit or minus 20 to 350 Celsius. That is a big range. That is a big range. I don't think I'm gonna be pointed at anything that, that's hotter than 662 degrees. Um, my bees don't get that hot in the winter. All right, so we have the measurement range or measurement accuracy is gonna be minus plus or minus two degrees, that's not bad. And the measurement resolution is 0 0.0, no, excuse me, 0 0.1 Celsius. The storage capacity is two gigs of RAM and 16 gigabyte of incremental memory. So there's two gigs of RAM built into this thing. And then we have 16 gigs of RAM on the chip. So that is, uh, that is quite a bit of storage for a uh, thermal camera. And the battery capacity, 500 or 5,000 milliamp hours. Okay, so it does have a sizable frequently asked questions section here. Section seven is warranty. Section eight is FCC. And then after that, we go into German. So there you go. So I guess what we what we need to do, hold on a minute, wait a minute. We, we missed something here. The product overview. All right, so we have a power button. We've seen that. We have a return button. We've seen that. We have a uh, albums button. That's the play button. We've seen that. It has a flashlight button, and we've seen that too. A move up, down, left, right buttons. Okay, so that, that is up, down, left, right. So we know what that is. All right, then it has the OK button in the middle. That's the one in the middle there. 
USB-C and SD card slot. And we have the camera button. The camera button is the trigger on the front. Let's uh, let's put the memory stick in here and see what this thing can do. Hey, maybe they'll have the uh, calibration stuff on here where they were uh, taking pictures of it. Maybe we'll find that on the memory stick. That would be neat. If I can get into this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get my knife out. Oh, there we go. All right. Little tiny memory sticks. I always lose these things. Let's see here. I have one for my GoPro. It's just so doggone tiny. I can never get my fingers to, to get it in there. All right. And there we go. We are in like Flynn. Let's see here. I'm gonna power this thing up. All right. See more than the human eye. Okay, so let's look at the targeting feature here and see what this does. If I target this, okay, this box is 25 Celsius. Woo, okay, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna try to record the fire. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take it off the memory stick, but I'm gonna try to record the fire and show you. All right, so this is the fire. Now I don't know whether or not I, I don't know whether or not it's going to actually record the data that is on the screen, but I can see that the uh, hottest part of that fire is right now at 92 C. Actually, I, I take that back; it's 194.8 Celsius. I read it incorrectly. Um, there's an E equals 0.95. Don't know what that is, but there is a red marker that jumps around and it seems to find the hottest part of the fire. Now you can see that this is just a smoldering pile of wood and corn stalks, but it, uh, it sees all the heat. So there's that. Now let's go over and take a look at the chickens. Right, the hottest part of that chicken is its butt, and it looks like its butt is at uh, 36C. Oh, well, there's its head. Look at that. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know where I'm reading here. 37C, 23C, I don't know. Here's some bees on the bee bath. You can see them actually better in infrared than you can with a standard camera. You can really see where all the bees are. Look at that. I don't know what three bees that's looking at. There they are. Look at that. Wonderful. All right, well, there you go. Look at that. We just got back from the from the bee yard out there. Matter of fact, I know what the temperature of the fire is outside my shop. I can tell whether or not my chickens are running a fever. We know what the, the bees look like on the bee bath and even on the landing board of a beehive. This thing does everything that it's advertised to do. Now, I can tell you this, it's also very substantial. This thing is well built. It feels nice in the hand. It probably weighs about as much as a can of soup. I don't know what the official weight is. I guess I could weigh it up there, but but it feels it feels good. It's it's very ruggedized. It's got a nice rubber coating on it. You can drop it, bang it around. It's uh it's gonna continue to continue to work. I didn't didn't even phase it there. Um, I'm sure you're not gonna be that rugged with it, but but if you are, it can it can take it. And it comes with everything you need in order to take it off to the job site or out to the bee yard, wherever you're gonna use this thing. You've got a carrying case. You've got a USB-C charger and the cable, um, and, and I want to tell you something about the, the, the charge on this thing as well. Um, I've been playing with this thing for about an hour, hour and a half, 
and the battery hasn't even moved. Still a full charge on this thing. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about what the screen has on it here. Um, with the target area, you can see exactly what the temperature is of what it is that you're looking at. Um, even from this far away, I can tell that my fire is 194.8 Celsius. Um, it is all in Celsius on the screen. That's okay. I can do the conversion, and there might be a way. I don't know whether there is or not. I haven't gotten that far into the manual to change this to Fahrenheit. Don't know whether you can or not, but it shows you what the current target temperature is. That's where you're pointing it, the max and the minimum te temperature of that of that range, um, as well as a scale on the side. So this is it's very, very decent. I tell you what, with a plus or minus two degrees Celsius variant, I can live with that. It, uh, it's at least going to tell me that my bees are alive or dead when I'm pointing at a beehive, the bee castle bee yard in the middle of January. So there you go, and there you have it. Anyways, this is what you get with it. You've got everything you need, manual, certificate of authenticity, quality control. You've got a little carrying case to get it around to job sites and everything you need to keep this thing up and running. So with all that said, I hope you found this useful. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I do try to drop a video every Friday, and this is an off week video. I'm, I hope you enjoy this and get some useful information out of it. So with all that said, be happy, and I will see you next time. Take care. We'll go play with us some more.